Well, what is up, everybody? Hope you have had a uh, great Christmas and New Year's. Uh, unfortunately, we're having to begin uh, 2021 without a meeting on Wednesday nights for uh, for Wednesday night thing. Uh, I hope that we can get back together soon. Um, please pray, join me uh, in praying that uh, we can all get to back back together soon and that we can kind of get back to normal. Um, today is Wednesday, so I did want to share a little bit of a devotional with you, uh, some words from Scripture, um, even though we can't uh, necessarily uh, be together tonight. Um, in Lamentations chapter 3, verses 20 through 22 and 23, it says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new Every morning, great is your faithfulness. So <clears throat> it's a new year. It's 2021. Um, if you were in church on Sunday or hopefully were able to watch online, um, if not, side note, uh, go back and check it out. Pastor Brandon had an awesome message this last Sunday, so uh, you can check it out on our YouTube channel, Cave Spring BC, uh, all one word. Um, find our channel, and then, uh, or you can look it up on our Facebook page, um, through, I guess, your parents' Facebook, because most of you don't have one. But uh, anyway, check it out and uh, listen to it. But um, anyway, so Brother Scotty uh, mentioned this verse, the verse that I just read in Lamentations, um, in his introduction uh, before service on Sunday. And I got to thinking about, made me think about this old hymn that um, we used to sing in church when I was little. And the lyrics would go something like this. I won't sing it for you. Uh, but it goes something like, Great is your faithfulness. Or great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Mercy. So what is mercy? Uh, more importantly, why is mercy important to you and I? Um, mercy is defined as compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone uh, whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. Um, as sinners, we are subject to the judgment of a holy and righteous God. Even after we, uh, we become Christians, we uh, still sin and we mess up on a daily basis. So we regularly benefit from God's forgiveness, from God's mercy um, in particular. They, uh, one of the amazing realities of the Christian life um, is that in a world where everything is in kind of a, a state of decay, uh, decay or decline, I mean, you can just turn on the news for f five minutes and see how everything is just, uh, the world is kind of in this state of destruction. Everything is just going bad, and, and we live under this curse of sin. But in that kind of world, even, in, even in miss, uh, among all of the decay and the decline, God's mercies never grow old. They never run out. Um, as a Christian, we wake up with something infinitely better than a clean slate um, every morning. We, uh, this year, this month, this day, uh, this week, you woke up with something better than a clean slate. You woke up with the new mercies of God. Uh, the mercies of God, they never run out. They never come at the wrong time. They never grow weak or weary. They never fail to meet our needs. They never disappoint. Um, they never ever fail because they are new. Again, every morning, specifically form-fitted for the challenges um, that we face on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, specifically form-fitted for our sufferings and temptations and struggles with sin, uh, struggles within and struggles without, um, internally and externally, we have have these specifically form-fitted mercies from God every single day, new ones, every single day, specifically form-fitted for each and every one of us. Sometimes those mercies come in the form of uh, things that inspire awe. Sometimes they come in the form of rebuke or discipline. Sometimes they, um, sometimes they look like uh, strength or hope or courage or forgiveness. Sometimes they expose us or transform us. Um, sometimes they rescue us. Sometimes they provide for us. Sometimes his mercies are uncomfortable. But in every way uh, and every time they reveal God's glory and a tr the truth of who he really is. God's mercies show us different facets of who he really is. Um, God's mercies trumpet his grace. God's mercy um, is general. It's 
for all of his children, every single Christian, every person who is uh, who has become a child of God receives the mercies of God. But God's mercy is also specific. Each each child of God, every single one of us, you and I, we receive specific mercy that is designed specifically for our particular moment of need. God's mercy is predict- predictable. It is an, a never-ending fountain of mercy that exists infinitely. But God's mercy is also pre- unpredictable. It comes to us in surprising forms and when we least expect it. God's mercy is uh, is radical and it means life to every single one of us who believe. God's mercy is ultimate comfort, but it is also a call to a brand new form of living. To anyone who has received it, to you, to me, when we begin to grasp God's mercy, God's mercy really does change everything for us forever. We can never, once we start realizing the kind of mercy and how often we get it and the the vast generosity uh, and volume of mercy that we receive from God, from an ever-loving, kind, gracious, and compassionate God, it will change us. We We can't go back to the way that we were living before when we realize the kind of mercy that we're receiving from God. So this year, today and every day, remember God's new mercies every morning and celebrate your identity as the recipient of his mercy. This kind of mercy that reaches beyond the ability of our uh, mind to grasp or our heart to grasp or our mind to comprehend and really reaches beyond the ability of our words to describe. Let me close with this. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 5 says this, as for you, that's you and me, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and the ruler of the kingdom of the air. That's the devil. And the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. Again, that's the devil. All of us lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But, Because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. So maybe today you just needed to hear that, that that God's new mercy, no matter what you did earlier today, what you did yesterday or last week or last year, you needed to know that God's mercy is new and fresh for you this morning, this day, and every day. So I want you to do this. Take your journal. And take, uh, take your journal out. Um, and I want you to write uh, about a time that you messed up. You know you messed up. You did something sinful. Um, and I want you to write down how God's mercy in that moment me- meant all the world to you. Maybe you didn't get punished like you should have or would have. Maybe it was, you know, something that maybe your parents found out. Maybe even to this day, your parents still don't even know. But you didn't get punished like you should have. And uh, and it was God's mercy in that moment uh, that, that revealed itself to you. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I miss you guys. I love you guys. Um, post away on GroupMe. You know what? Find a verse about God's mercy. God's compassion um, on uh, in the Bible and um, and and post it in group me so that we can all uh, read about uh, more about God's mercy and how the Bible talks about His compassion. Um, so yeah, that's your challenge. Write about a time in your journal. Um, you don't have to share that. That's personal between you and God. Um, but also, but you can get on group me and share a verse about God's mercy or God's compassion. I love you guys. Um, I hope to see you guys Sunday. Uh, Sunday morning for church. If you can make it in person, if not, get online and watch. Um, Hit me up anytime if you need anything at all. Um, Yeah, I think that's about it. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.